Today we're going to begin our discussion of energy levels. And Bohr taught us about energy levels. He was the first one to come up with the idea of energy levels. Well, Bohr believed that certain amounts of energy co corresponded to specific levels, which are called energy levels. And he believed that these electrons orbited the nucleus at certain distances that corresponded to these energy levels. Now, the energy levels with the lowest energy were closest to the nucleus, and the energy levels with the highest energy were furthest from the nucleus. A couple more things about energy levels. In Bohr's planetary model, energy levels were like floors of a hotel that you could take, you go from one uh, energy level to another, but you couldn't really stop between the floors. So we call, we've called that the planetary model. And that electrons would occupy these energy levels. Now what happens is electrons can move from one energy level to another by absorbing or releasing energy. If they absorbed energy, they would go up to a higher energy level when they fell down or went to a lower energy level, they would release energy. But electrons could not exist between energy levels. Now, Niels Bohr was a person who was credited with this. He developed this solar system model of the planets, and he, he had what we call quantitized energy levels. And we also call that the hydrogen model. At age 25, he re received a PhD in physics, which is a very young age to re receive a PhD. Now here is this Bohr model or planetary model of the atom. So there's a nucleus, then the orbits around it are the possible places where electrons can be found. So we have energy levels. So other scientists realize that electrons do not really exist in circular paths. It's, and it's actually impossible to predict where an electron is at a certain time. So electrons can be in any part of a region outside the nucleus. And that's often drawn as a fuzzy, cloud, fuzzy electron cloud. So a better model, because these, this, instead of like a circular model, is a three-dimensional area. And this is not an orbit, but it's an orbital that describes the, uh, the hydrogen atom is when it's at its lowest possible energy state. Here are the levels or the order in which we'll go. So first we have energy levels. That's the, how far or close it is to the nucleus. The lower the energy level, the closer the nucleus, the, further, uh, the bigger the number, the further away. So first you have energy levels. Now within those energy levels, we have sublevels. And within the sublevels, there are orbitals, and within those orbitals, those electrons have different spins. One can spin clockwise and counterclockwise, so we have spins as a, our last level. So energy levels and orbitals, each energy level has sublevels, and the first four sublevels are called S, P, D, and F. So the first four sublevels, and these are what we call ground state. That's actually important. You should probably write that down. These are ground state sublevels. One orbital in this S sublevel is a, is a spherical, so that's an S sublevel. And then there's three orbitals in the P sublevel. Those are P, X, Y, and Z, and those actually look like a peanut. And the Ds are a varying shape. And, they're, and those shapes are very, and then F are extremely complex and they're grouped. Just to give you an idea of what these look like, the S is a spherical, and then we have the 1S. Remember, that would be lower energy, then higher energy would be 2S. Then there's 2P. Now, no, notice the energy, the energy level matches the number of sublevels. So if you look at this, what I'd like you to notice, let's look at the 2S right here. The 2 is the energy level. So the number in front is the energy level. Then the S behind it, that's specifying the sublevel. So it's energy level 2, and the specific sublevel is S. And the 2S is higher than 2P. And then we, remember we said P's have three sublevels, and those are the sublevels uh, that we have within that, or three different orbitals are found within that sublevel. If you're at energy level 1, there's one sublevel. Energy level 2, there's two sublevels. So the two sublevels at energy level 2 are the 2S, which we have, we should have illustrated here, and then the three here, which are called 2P. If we go to energy level 3, there'll be three sublevels. And those sublevels are split up into orbitals. This is represents one orbital in the 1S. This represents one orbital in the 2S. But the 2P has three orbitals. Remember, P's would have three orbitals. So every S will have one or orbital. Every P will have three.
So electron configurations is our next topic. This concludes our video for today. Have a good night. Thanks.